Al Hilal player until last month. Now, to prove a point, do you think? I mean, they've brought these stars in and he's been nudged out of, of the door. Of course, you bring all these stars in and he's thinking, I'm going to prove to you, you should have kept me. You brought all these players in on their big wages and all these superstars in and so he said, I'm going to prove a point. Everyone wants to prove a point against their old team. Well, the last time these two teams met was back in April. Al-Shabaab actually won the match and Cuellar got himself sent off. He was playing for Al-Hilal. So OK. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, Al-Shabaab's fans will be... Uh, do you think their noses will be a little out of joint at the moment because their team have been consistently near the top in the title race you know they've not been winning the league but they've been in the top five more often than not in the last 15 years for example and yet here they are they're a bit on the outside looking in financially aren't they now yeah and that's that's what, what happened the big teams have spending huge money but sometimes when you're a smaller team you can just come under the radar and that's what they'll be looking today you, you like to um, have them big scalps and that's what they'll be looking to do this evening it's going to be an uphill task for them Al Halil, the amount of good players they've got in their team is going to be difficult, but it won't be an easy game for them. Yeah, well, there's Bono, the goalkeeper. He'll be up against one of his international teammates. Well, he'll be up against him for set plays, certainly if uh, Roman Saiz comes up. And, of course, uh, Saiz uh, will be playing against Ruben Neves, uh, two former teammates in the Premier League in England. Yeah, they know about each other playing for Wolverhampton Wanderers. So, yeah, two outstanding players. Neves was a super talented individual playing in the Premier League. And Saiz, no-nonsense defender and very good international player as well. Well, Jorge Jesus there, the, the coach on the left-hand side of Al-Hilal, he, I mean, he's been there, seen it, done it, read the book, got the T-shirt, the lot. But as experienced as he is, it's great having all these really good players. But does, does that make it easy or not in terms of getting the team out blending? nicely and harmoniously yeah you've got to keep everyone together you're gonna to have to have some unhappy court, um, players knocking your door that were playing but when you brought these superstars in everyone wants to see them playing so it, you can always say it can be a hindrance but I think it's a positive these big players have to deliver so it should be a good game this evening but interesting to note with all of these star players coming it looks like it's going to be an excellent title race this season you know the, the margin for error is going to be small for the top four or five teams but Al Tawun are in there, and they are not a team of star names, but they're just really well organised. And that's what you need, a well organised team, and Al Tawun are up there, and that's what they're doing. It doesn't matter about bringing, you can bring the best players in the world if you don't all play together as a unit and you don't get it right on the pitch. It is a struggle. As you see, Al Tawun are doing that, and long may it continue for them. Yeah, Malcolm there with uh, Neymar. Neymar's looking pretty relaxed as he prepares to go out. He'll, he'll be keen to sort of make his mark won't he because um there are there are marquee names in this league of course cristiano ronaldo the first of them but having arrived he'll be very keen to remind everybody of his quality which of course is exceptional well unbeaten al hilal won three titles in a row before last season's third place they know there won't be too much margin for error in this season's race for silverware and they'll feel they've got the quality to beat their city rivals tonight but Al Shabab fourth last season have found some form after a shaky start and will look to inflict a first defeat of the season on their star-studded rivals tonight and in doing so beat them in successive matches after winning 3-0 at home when they last met back in April things look very different just a few months on though in Saudi football as a whole and for these two clubs Neymar there, just one from the back. Came off the bench in the last home game for his long-awaited debut in from the start this time. Roman Saiz, who's added some real solidity and steel to Al-Shabaab's defence. <laughs> the only remaining unbeaten team in the Saudi Pro League this season. Five wins and two draws from their seven matches so far. Al-Shabaab have pedigree in this league, though, and consistency in recent years 
finishing in the top five in 10 of the past 14 seasons, including fourth in each of the last two. It is a fiery welcome on a Friday night for the two sets of players. Colourful and well staged. A suitable backdrop for a big Friday night match. Sunday Marnie's big name teammates gather, looking to go top of the league. Yeah, and it looks like it's some atmosphere. Wow, the, the fans are really passionate. El, Sh El Shabab fans there. Look, it looks like it's going to be a brilliant um, game this evening. Tonight's match officials are led by referee Ivan Barton from El Salvador. Uh, the team in the VAR room led by Jorge Perez Duran from Mexico. Here's the uh, team news. Neymar starts a home match for the first time for Al Hilal, Yasser Al Shirani, and Ruben Neves come back into the side. Al Shabab are unchanged. Roman Saiz adds quality at the back. Yannick Carrasco, the same up front. He scored three goals in three appearances so far since arriving from Atletico Madrid this month. Well, Al Shabab have turned things around a little bit in their last two matches. We'll get some yardstick as to how true that is. There can't be many tougher tests than the one they face tonight. No, definitely not. This will, as you said, they've had some positive results, but this is a real test playing against some of these superstars. And we, when we were looking at that list, the list of players, we didn't even mention Malcolm, who's an outstanding player, who just plays off Mitrovic as well. So in that attacking front six, they've got a lot of um, good players. Yeah, so many good players on the pitch, and there's one of them, Alexander Mitrovic, as we're underway. Al Hilal, all in blue, looking to continue their unbeaten start to the new season. I feel a little bit frustrated that they were held by Damak in their last league match, a 1 1 draw in that one. They were absolutely flying before that. Ten goals in the two games leading up to last week. Four against Al Etihad. What a big game that was, the 4 3 win. And then they put six past newly promoted Al Riyadh in the last home match. So uh, there's certainly enough uh, attacking potential in their team to cause real problems. But uh, big test here for Al Shabab this evening. And the home team on the attack, Yasser Al Shirani, uh, sending it forward straight away into the box. It goes, little layoff from uh, Mitrovic. And the ball collected in midfield by uh, Eva Banega. He still conducts the orchestra, doesn't he, uh, Benega, at 35? He's a real sort of Peter Pan figure in their midfield, isn't he? Yeah, you don't lose it. You, when you, Your legs get tired, but your brains are always ticking, and you can always see him scanning in that midfield, knowing he's ne next part. And he basically, when he covers the pitch, it is like a, literally a jog, but that's the pace he's always played at. He's got good natural ability. He's a ball sent uh, right up towards Alexander Mitrovic. He's sort of taken to life in the Saudi Pro League like a, a duck to water Mitrovic has a broken stride but then I suppose when you've got players of the sort of quality in their team around him providing him with chances I bet he's uh, he's absolutely loving it yeah he just stay in the box he's saying Neymar Malcolm you deliver the balls into the box and I'll score the goals and that's what he's always done Mitrovic well, he's got a good goalkeeper to try and get past tonight Kim Sung Ju was uh, Korea Republic's goalkeeper at the World Cup in Qatar at the back end of last year as Benega rolls the ball forward and uh, it's collected by Hatan Babri Kweya challenge big night for Kweya back at his former club had four years with Al Hilal 125 appearances for them but one of those who's 
effectively had to make way really for the, for the new arrivals. So Al Shabab playing with a bit between their teeth. That was a handy interception by Koulibaly and needed to be as well as the balls played forward. And Neymar having a little sniff, but it was covered by Dos Santos at the back for Al Shabab. You can see already all of Al Shabab's play goes through their captain. Yeah, Benega, he, he's the pivot man. He just plays in that number six role and just tries to get on the ball. If you see every Al Shabab player is looking for him to get on the ball. And Carrasco, he's clever as well. He don't play out on that left wing side. He comes into little pockets and causes problems. And Brown is looking after the, the Al Shabab team. They put him in caretaker charge. Uh, taking over from Marcel Kaiser. Lost his job. He actually, uh, Brown was for a little while the coach of Al Hilal a few years ago back in 2018. Been elsewhere since then. It's a free kick for the home side. Carrasco, the player penalised, just being a, a little physical for the referee's liking in that challenge with the Saud Abdul Hamid. Well, so far so good for, for George Jesus uh, they're unbeaten they're all smiles just about yeah yeah and you're thinking because sometimes there's huge pressure we talked about it at the beginning when you've got all these superstars as a manager and you're an experienced manager you feel like you have to deliver regular it's not always going to happen like that but you're right they've started excellently so far lovely ball from Ruben Neves and Malcolm slides it on Abdul Hamid sends it across it's over Neymar's head in towards Neymar once again and intercepted by Gustavo Cuella and cleared away by Hatan Babri. Here's Cuella, gritty and determined player in uh, the heart of their midfield, I think is a reasonable way of describing him. That'll certainly be his, his mood this evening. Yeah, to break it up and give it to the likes of Benega and Carrasco and let them go and win you the game. And as I said earlier, he'll want to prove a point against his old team. Here's Banega, who's, uh, who's still as feisty as ever. He was sent off against Al Nasser on the fourth match day. But uh, he scored a couple of goals uh, last week in the win against uh, Al Hazem. 4 1, their best result of the new season, as Kim sends the ball high and long. It's a, a long old chase as well for Habib Diallo. Diallo's still looking to get up and running in terms of, of goals. The number 20 up front for Al Shabab on the edge of the box there. Senegalese international. They signed from Strasbourg in August. 20 goals in 37 matches in Liga last season, but yet to score in the Saudi Pro League. He just needs to get one over the line somehow. Doesn't matter how, and then maybe they'll start to throw. Yeah, being the next centre for myself, you do start worrying and you're thinking, when is the goal going to come? But he has to keep believing, getting into their positions, and hopefully he'll get a goal. And you're thinking, once you get one, they come like bosses, so it has to keep getting in them goal-scoring areas. Here's Al Shirani. Pulled back from Mitrovic with a flick into Sergei Milinkovic Savic. He's seen red already this season as well, Milinkovic Savic. Yeah, him and Mitrovic must know each other as well, isn't it? They would be combining and playing a lot together at international level. So it's always good when someone you come to a new team and you, you know someone already there. Been a pretty organised team in the last couple of years. Uh, Al Shabab, Kim Sung Gyu, the goalkeeper, conceded 33 in 30 matches last season. It's pretty tight, conceded a few more this time around so far as Cuellar sends it forward, but they have settled in the last couple of games and Saiz and Carrasco are very useful additions indeed as they venture forward and uh, Babri sends it away to the far side, the cross not the best and Nabib Diallo stretches to try and get there, Ali Albulai with the, the poke out of the penalty area and Milinkovic Savic continues the play forward and now with uh, Mitrovic, he's got Neymar up alongside him up against uh, Iago dos Santos and we wait for that belated flag 
That's the, I always have a big frustration with that because I think just, you know it's where he is from that position. If he's offside, just pull it up early. I understand if he's going in on goal. But yeah, or, or if it's a wide. close one and exactly. you're not sure. And it's a close one, but that wasn't a close one. But if he's a kilometre offside, exactly. it's not worth waiting for, is it really? Ball headed away by Al Shirani. Here they come. Salem Al Dalsari. A lovely bit of skill, I thought it was, from Neymar, but it, it didn't roll kindly for him. Well, it's a high-pressure situation at the top of the table in the, the Saudi Pro League. It's so tight, so many teams in contention. Admittedly, we're, we're only in the eighth round of fixtures, but uh, just feel that you know every slip-up could be costly in terms of the overall picture, given the teams that are in contention and how close they are. And not one team's running away with it. it as I said, there's about five or six teams, even more, that could still um, be in this title race. But as you said, it's still early, but you don't want to be cut, cut adrift. You'd rather be at the top side than in the middle of the pack. And Koulibaly crafts a decent-looking pass up towards Mitrovic, which he acknowledges. Here is uh, Kalidou Koulibaly once again. Fifth match in a row he's started. Didn't have the best year of his career, or the one year in London with Chelsea, after, of course, carving out a brilliant career with Napoli in Italy. Here comes uh, Abdul Hamid into the heart of the penalty area, headed away by Dos Santos. And uh, a free kick won there by Hamad Herbush, the fullback, I think. Yeah, so it's rash from Malcolm. He doesn't have to, but it's a good ball into the box. And that's where Mitrovic comes alive there. But the Santos, really good defender, gets in front, gets him the arm front of Mitrovic and does well. And then here, it's a needless foul from Malcolm. It's always going to be given. Yeah, and he knows the, uh, he knows the fullback is going flat on his face in that situation. Well, good atmosphere inside the stadium for this Friday night fixture. Uh, Al Itihad, the leaders at the start of the day, they were a point clear of Al Hilal at the start of this round of fixtures, held today on the road, a, a goalless draw. Away to Al Faya. Excellent away win for Al Tawu, Al Hazem, 3 1, and Al Nasser with a late win away at Al Tai. Late Cristiano Ronaldo penalty. Well, going down inside the penalty area there was uh, Salem Al Dalsari. We weren't sure that to show it up, but it was a handoff and it wasn't a penalty. I think it's the right decision. Oh, it was outside the box anyway. A robust defending from uh, Iago dos Santos. He's a, he's a player who knows his way around this league. They signed him from uh, Al Taun in uh, January of last year. A referee from El Salvador just making his uh, thoughts known to Ruben Neves in the heart of the midfield. What a great pairing they've got there with Ruben Neves and Sergei Milinkovic Savic. That, that tells us something about the state of where we are with, with, with this league this summer with the players coming in because, you know, th these are players who could either have stayed where they were in top leagues or had other alternatives within Europe. But these are players in the prime of their careers, not the tail end. Aren't they? Yeah, obviously with the Ruben Neves at the age of thinking as well, where are you going to go? But as I said, they think this league's going to grow and it's going to grow and go stronger and that's why he's made that move there. 26 Ruben that's Neves. That's what I mean, he's still, young. He's still in, in the peak of his career. I don't think he peaked till he like 28, 29, so he's still, still at a young age. 28, the age of uh, Sergei Milinkovic Savic, who of course was with Lazio for so many years. And there'll be a free kick there for Al Shabab for the challenge on Fawaz Al Sokour. These are the sort of fixtures which, on paper, one imagines that Al Hilal would win, but the reality isn't necessarily quite so straightforward. And that's a great point you make. Sometimes when you're the favourite, you're expected to win, but that doesn't always work. El Shabab will make it difficult, and they've got players that can score or go out of nothing. Yeah, this fixture, by the way, was a 1-1 draw last season, and El Shabab won 3-0 at home in April when they met uh, Al Halal. Of course, uh, the teams, particularly Al Halal, are look, looking rather different at the start of this season. But uh, here comes Ruben Neves. He's looking for...
into the penalty area it goes uh, it was always going wide of the goal but Kim sung Yu had to spring to his right just to make sure yeah I think he was offside from the earlier pass um, from Malcolm and yeah the linesman gets it right I think it, yeah this one is this pass where he's offside and as I said he's, he's just put the flag up because if he crosses it and they collide with each other you could get a big injury Here's uh, Dos Santos. Now collected by Herbush. And sent forward a little nudge forward by Roman Saiz. And chased and collected by Yannick Carrasco is looking for an opening. They'll be looking for him to try and find one. And Carrasco fires the shot right across the face of Bono's goal. Yeah, it's good play, but he was offside. I did think he was offside, but he delayed it and delayed it. It was good run, good run from Carrasco. And once he gets into that position, he waits for the defenders to sit down and draws it wide of the post. Good opportunity for El Shabab, and they've started the game ever so well. Yeah, a little uh, hint of opportunity, perhaps, for Yannick Carrasco there, but he, he only had one thing on his mind, but the opportunity never really arose. Yeah. And he kind of scuffs it and it goes wide wide of pause. It wasn't a clean strike. Only arrived on the 4th of September from uh, Atleti. Two goals last week in the King's Cup. They beat Al Batim, a team who were relegated last season to the second tier of the, uh, the Saudi League. Here's Saud Abdul Hamid. Now Malcolm. Malcolm, a uh, player who proves that Neymar is not the only skillful Brazilian in this lineup. Get a hat trick in the uh, opening match of the season, and number 77 there, Malcolm. Win over Abba. Here's Neves. Oh, lovely skill. Ruben Neves. Well, it was. He did the hard part really well. And just the, the finishing touch. He was so. He looked. It's brilliant here from Ruben Neves. Somehow managed to get out of this tight area. And then he's looking up straight away. He knows Mitrovic wants crosses. He's gone too early. I think he can go and commit the defender and keep going in. But as I said, El Halal trying to get early crosses into the box. Fawaz Al Sagur being told not to move any further along the touchline by the, the referee. He's being quite particular yes. about that. He scored last week the uh, the right back for Al Shabab in that win over Al Hazem. Bit of space over on this near side for Mohamed Harbush. He made his first start for the uh, club last week in that game against Al Hazem. Played for 71 minutes. 20 year old. Here's uh, Gustavo Cuellar. Happy to leave it. And now waiting to collect the ball, Yannick Carrasco, Carrasco away from Abdul Hamid. Forced a bit uh, wider than he would have liked then, Hussein Al-Khatani. But uh, won't be too unhappy to have a throw. Well, Al-Shabaab have seen out the opening 15 minutes, they'll be happy with that. No, of course they will, obviously against these superstar team. They've been the better team in my eyes, Al-Shabaab. Good touch there from Carrasco. Run back by Al Khatani for a moment, and then Neves strikes it forward. Suddenly they're on the front foot with Malcolm Mitrovic into the middle. Al Dalsari arrives in support. Here he is now. Suddenly blue short, blue shirts swarming around the edge of the Al Shabab box, and Malcolm twinkle toed. Little layoff from Neymar, not working at all, and. Uh, that opportunity just dissipates in, a, in an instant. Al Shabab with possession once again. Yeah, he's been quiet so far, Neymar. He's not. I thought he'd play on that left hand side. He's kind of playing in a little pocket, number 10 behind Mitrovic, and trying to get on the ball, but he's found it difficult. But that's all credit must go to El Shabab because they're defending their numbers and they attack, they counter attack ever so well. So he's forward, a little nudge on by Herbush. Bono out to Ali Al Bulai, who's played every minute of the season so far, the number five for Al Hilal. 
Malcolm's collided with one of the Al Shabab players as Abdul Hamid sends it into the middle and the Argo dos Santos was there and as uh, Kim Sun Gyu gathers the ball they're all drawing the referee's attention to what happened midway inside the half but uh, clearly nothing major bit of space here as Carrasco floats the ball forward Habib Diallo here's a chance can he open his account door closing it's wide see he's a striker that's not full of confidence because once he gets in that position Diallo he should really go onto his left foot tries to come onto his right foot but here take a bigger touch and get your shot away he does eventually come inside Koulibaly and tries to bend it, but it's got to be some finish to be, to be um, Bono from there. Was he trying to be too precise yes. and make sure that it, he set it up beautifully for himself? For yeah, you're spot on. And, and, that's, chance. and that's a striker who's not full of confidence. That's why he's doing that. It, it becomes natural to you if you're scoring goals to score onto your left foot and take a strike. So, yeah, you're right. You could have been a centre forward yourself, you know. I'm not so sure about that, Clinton. In fact, I am sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Habib Diallo, who... Uh, Proved himself to be a pretty decent centre forward in the French League last season. As Eva Banega tries to pick the lock of Al Hilal's defence, and uh, with Fawaz Al Sokour breaking forward towards the byline, uh, it's behind and it will be a goal kick. But it's been an encouraging start for Al Shabab. Remember, they didn't start the season very well at all, but they've won the last two matches in the league and a cup game as well. They've got a bit of confidence, and uh, I think an added little bite in this match as well given that they're they're not one of the chosen four in the yeah, Saudi yeah, Pro exactly. League and yet they are one of the teams who performed well yeah they start, yes. exactly and a spot on they have started ever so well they, they've been brilliant they've been on the front foot they've been better in possession even though they just gave it away their commentators course but they have been really neat and tidy in possession Milinkovic Savic now Neves Saad Abdul Hamid had been waiting patiently. Challenge comes in on Malcolm quickly. Ball just gets away from Eva Benega. That's a, I'm not sure it looked a little. Was it a soft free kick or was he was he caught there on the Achilles? Mm, I did think he was soft, but yeah, it was really soft. I think Neymar's waiting for the contact and he thinks an awkward fall, isn't it? Well, yeah, he just got his maybe a little kick at the top of his ankles, but that theatrical fall from Neymar, there was no need for that. Free kick for Al Hilal. Are they about to test Kim Sun Gyu? Conceded four at Al Nasser, three to both Al Hueda and Al Khalij in those uh, those troubling, torrid early weeks of the season for Al Shabab. They certainly steadied the ship in the last uh, couple of three matches. And he showed his worth last season, Kim Sun Gyu. Of course, Al Halal have got some pretty handy players from set plays. Uh, and pretty handy players who can get on the end of things yep. as well if required. <laughs> Neymar considers his options, floats it in, finds the head of Dos Santos. Mitrovic goes down. Penalty. He has. He has given a penalty, and he and he blew he blew the whistle, and he's going to give him a yellow card. He straight away he pointed to the spot, so there must have been contact. Definitely. And yeah, he's given a penalty. I was surprised because I thought they dealt with um, the um, free kick ever so well. So it's a needless penalty to give away. Well case being argued of course it, it will be looked at on VAR have a look here it is again that's not a penalty no way in it no way is that a penalty I don't both are, both both are doing the same thing it's not a pen, maybe you can see on the back he's pulling it but no ah he's give it for that on his back yeah that was, like, the, that was more the view angle. that the referee yeah had, that's yeah. the view that the referee has once the referee makes that decision, maybe he doesn't VAR won't make him change his mind. Hassan Al Katani is the player who has gone into the book. Now, you you may hear some some whistling and booing in the background. When Neymar came off the bench in the last home game and they had a penalty, the crowd wanted Neymar to take it and he didn't, so they were complaining. 
And I think that may be a little bit of what's going on here. It they could want Neymar be, but to take it. you're never going to take the ball off Mitrovic. If Mitrovic is in good form and he's, he's a big lad as well, taker. isn't he? Yeah, exactly. And he, you're not taking it off Mitrovic. There's no chance. I think that angle shows where the defender's got his arm. And there's no need to do that because they deal with it ever so well. Yeah, I think uh, Mitrovic initiated that contact in a way and his forward momentum was going to knock the other guy over. But the yes. fact that he grabbed him, put his arm around his neck and pulled him down as well, that and was he, the deciding factor. And he wasn't even getting to the ball. The defender, De Santos, beforehand um, cleared it away. So it's naive defending. Well, Alexander Mitrovic got a hat-trick. Mitrovic got a hat trick in the match oh, look. against uh, Al Itihad. Is he going to have a chance to score from the spot here? Because the referee, I'm not sure whether it's, yeah, he has been asked to come and have a look. I did think it was soft. This angle, you can see he's pulling the shirt off the bat. But if you look at the other angle, I he's pushing it, he's instigating he's it with instigating the forward it. motion. The Left guy's going to go over yeah. anyway. But it's the fact that, well, it's six, six or one after, after the other. The other. So if you're going to give a penalty for that, I think you're going to give a penalty each week, every week, and every time a ball goes into the box. So, this angle here, you would think, as you said, they're just grappling with each other. But then if the other angle, you see him pulling Mitrovic's shirt. You think Mitrovic pushes him first? Yeah, he leans in. Yeah, he yeah. does lean into him, Mitrovic. And then the other, and then the defender grabs him on the grabs way down. Grabs him on the way down. So it'd be interesting to see if he overturns it. First big call of the night for the uh, referee from El Salvador, Ivan Barton. No penalty. I, I did, we did say, I said it straight away when I saw it, and, he, 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 and the yellow cards um, rescinded because it, you're right. I think you make a great point, side where Mitrovic leans into him first, and there's no way where the defender can go. He's trying to stand him over now. No, he's pushing him. And as I said, I think both are, both are at it. Both are at it. There is a bit of a shirt pull, but I think the referee and VAR made the right decision there. And having made that decision, of course, it would have been the easiest thing in the world for them to stick with it. But uh, it remains goalless, and there is no penalty on this occasion. And uh, Jesus' team are being held, and we're just past the midway point of the first half, and that will suit Al Shabab just nicely so far as Ron Saiz sends uh, a low, powerful ball forward. Here's Eva Benega spreading the play away to the far side, using the full width of the pitch. Fawaz Al Sokur is looking for Diallo. Uh, there'll be uh, a free kick there. I, th I think the uh, Hatan Babri's studs catching the uh, the defender as he tried to clear there. Yeah, he's a bit high to be fair, but he is he is making Hatan is making an attempt to get the ball, but yeah, he is high, he's late, and he does catch him on the instep. So yeah, a challenge on Yasser Al Sharani, who uh, may require a little treatment. Did look a painful one there for Yasser Al Sharani. He's been a real mainstay of the uh, the Al Hilal team. They've got a good mix actually. We've been talking about their star names, Clinton, but they've got players like Al Sharani, over 350 appearances for the club um, if you look at uh, Salem al Dalsari as well over 350 so you've got players who get the club yep. know how it's run uh, you know to help to sort of hold everything together as well as the stars coming in and that, that's what you need people that know the club and you're spot on and, and it's a great observation and a great point that you make you, you can't just go and bring in loads of new players and then get rid of the old players they know the heartbeat of the club and they know how to interact with the fans so I think you're right with all the experience they've got in their team Kula Valley sweeping it forward Abdul Hamid chasing and swiftly in there well we've seen that so many times haven't we on the international stage Roman Saiz He's a, he's a no-nonsense sort of defender. And a, and a good, solid defender. I like him. I've always liked him, even when he was at Wolverhampton. Really good, honest defender. He was playing on one leg, wasn't he, at the World yes, Cup in the end? Was. That injury, that was a thigh injury. I That's it, yeah. I played ever so well with one leg. <laughs> Here's uh, Neymar with a little flick. He's been on the margins of the game so far, hasn't he, Neymar? Yeah, and I think that Al Halal fans will want to see him on it. Obviously, he's their, he's their talisman. He's their big superstar. 
And here is uh, Neymar. Oh, what a lovely pass that is. Away to the far side to Al Shirani. He's uh, recovered nicely after that stud on the, the top of his foot a few moments ago. Just break, not quite happening for Al Hilal so far. They're, they're struggling to create anything in front of goal, really. Not too much for Kim Sung Gyu in Al Shabab's goal to do so far. Is that about to change now? As uh, no is the answer. It's comfortably caught and the flag goes up anyway. I can't believe Sim he's offside. He should not be offside. You look, you're looking across the line. Surely it. It's criminal. Some of my coaches used to go mad at me for being offside. <laughs> you, it is naive. Because I know you want the ball early, but he was already standing in an offside position. You didn't see yourself there, did you, when you were looking at that? Yeah, I did. I did. And I saw the manager having a right go at me at half time. <laughs> for company really have anywhere to go there chances at a premium really in this opening 28 and a half minutes it was nicely done by Malcolm testing the young fullback there here comes Neymar a little bit of space nice ball now Dalsri sends it forward Malcolm tries to flick it in it's collected by Neymar and it's blocked by Roman Saiz you can see the fans getting up, they're desperate for Neymar to score. You can hear you can hear the noise. And but it was good defending from Roman Saiz. But it was good play. Malcolm getting into coming off that right hand side, cutting it back. Once it falls to him here, you're thinking the net, but great defending from Saiz. Solid as a rock Roman Saiz there. And he and Carrasco have been very good acquisitions for Al Shabab. As they try to uh, lift themselves up the table, fourth in each of the last two seasons, second the season before that. Used to being in the upper reaches of the table. Suddenly got a lot harder this season. Malcolm has it. Gets away from Al Sikor. It's a comfortable catch there for Kim Sung Yu. He's quick to release. And uh, it was an, an easy header away there for Ali Al Bulai. into Neymar he's got Milinkovic Savic alongside a delicate little flick into the box and Salam al Dalsari trying to get on the end of it this is the Neymar effort see good players just know where to be Roman Saiz knows that when Neymar comes like that he's going to try and beat Kim at his near post it was really good defending it's a nightmare for defenders now, isn't it, to know where to put their arms? I mean, other than firmly behind their back almost at all times, in a way. I've never known a defender that can defend with no with his arms behind his back, but that's how you have to defend nowadays, because if not, you will it will be a penalty. 15 minutes to go to half-time. The, the leaders, al Ittihad, found it hard in their match today. Al Hilal not having everything their own way in this one against Al Shabab. Here comes Mohamed Herbush sending it into Gustavo Cuellar. A flick on by Al Khatani. He's away from Mitrovic. This is Al Khatani. Carrasco's did the ball in. Banega. Sakur across and Koulibaly in the right place at the right time there. Good job for Al Hilal. Yeah, Sakur makes a brilliant run. But you know what? The pass from Benega is brilliant. You give him that much time and space, it causes you problems. And Benega's now racing to try and get back, and he, he wasn't about to win that race against Mitrovic, but uh, Kim, the keeper, saves the day. There's an upsurge in the tempo from Al Hilal as they try to force the issue and the breakthrough at Neymar now look at that no room for maneuver at all and Dos Santos staying strong and the shot in the end is shanked some way wider the goal they're getting each other's way there it's a great opportunity I think El Shabab players were waiting wanting a free kick here they're getting each, I think Malcolm's coming onto it and they're getting each other's way and in the end it's a great opportunity wasted 
Well, Salim al Dassi would back himself at the moment. He's scored half a dozen goals already this season, six in seven league appearances. Um, he only scored six in the whole of last season, so I think he sees himself as the, as the man on fire in front of him. Yeah, he's in good form at the moment, so you really expect him to be hitting the target there. Touch from Diallo, nice ball forward by Al Katani. Habib Diallo waits in the middle, so does Khalidou Koulibaly, who has uh, made a two or three timely interception without looking unduly stressed so far, Koulibaly. Yeah, he, he, listen, it didn't work out for him at Chelsea, but I thought he was outstanding when he was at Napoli, and he is a good defender. Here's Milinkovic Savic. A little touch coming off for Sein Al Katani. Shouldn't forget, of course, that as great a player as he is, Neymar had quite a long time out with injury before coming back a couple of weeks ago. Played for Brazil, of course, as Malcolm tries to tee it up, sending it forward. In it goes, miscue by Mitrovic, cleared away by Saiz. And Al Katani sends it away. Al Shirani getting well forward. Yeah, it's a big opportunity. Shirani does ever so well. It's a good ball from Malcolm, and he cuts it back to Mitrovic. And you're thinking he's waiting for the back of the net to ripple because he has got that quality, Mitrovic, and the form he's in. But you can see here, good play and the cutback. And Mitrovic pulls off the defender ever so great opportunity for Mitrovic. He'll be disappointing. Good play from the fullback there, Yasser Al Shirani. And the miscue in front of goal from the uh, Serbian striker. But yeah, just might take a few weeks for. Um, Neymar to really get fully in the groove, as it were. Yeah, and he's playing in severe temperatures as well. It's difficult, really Easy difficult. So, but yeah, as you say, when you've been out for that long, it does take a time. You're not going to come back straight away and Easy hit the guy. ground running. Quite cool tonight, Clinton. Only 32. At I know that's started, cool. but that's noticeably cooler yeah, than it is. It has been so yeah, at the start right. of the season when, even during the second half, it's been around 38. Yeah. But uh, the pace still remains. Pretty decent. No it is decent. It is decent. You'll see it probably slow in the second half, and that's when you've got to be able to keep the ball more. But you are right, because the temperatures have been like 38, 39. Ali Al Balayi away to Al Shirani. Here's Neves now. Home crowd get behind the team, trying to lift them. And Neymar with a little flick through. Here's Malcolm. Good save. Kim Sung Gyu called into serious action there. It's a good save. It's brilliant from Neymar. The little flip around the corner to Malcolm. They, them two have an understanding. He might not need a few weeks after all. He looks like he's delivering <laughs> yeah. up quite well the last five yeah. minutes, Neymar. Al Dalsari into Milinkovic Savic. Just get the feeling maybe Al Halala just starting to go through the gears That's a little bit. They will get a penalty this time. Milinkovic Savic, I think, was aware that challenge was coming in from Iago. Uh, Dos Santos. Yeah, that's a penalty. Milinkovic Savic does ever so well there. It, it's a good little ball around the corner to him. And Santos, he, he doesn't need to. All he has is defender. He just has to move his feet. He dives in. And for me, it's a penalty. Yeah, he's well late. Well late. It's lazy defending from Dos Santos. He's, he started the game ever so well. Milinkovic Savic, great run. Stonewall penalty for me. So, golden opportunity here, and uh, Neymar loitering 12 yards out. Well, the last time they were awarded a penalty, it was Alexander Mitrovic who was preparing it, to take it. Is it because he got the penalty, Mitrovic, the last one he takes it? Is that how they're doing it? But then Neymar didn't get it, or maybe they're just saying, want him to get his first goal. So, Neymar teeing it up. Are uh, we about to see the first of what will presumably be many from the Brazilian all-time record goal scorer? Well, Kim sung Gyu has been equal to everything that's been thrown at him so far. Can he manage to keep out a Neymar penalty? We're about to find out. It's been saved. Yes, he can keep it out. Sensational save by Kim Sung-Kyu. And Neymar will have to wait longer. 
for his first goal in the Saudi Pro League. It's worth another look. It is. It's a, it goes early, Kim, and it's a big, strong hand. And he does get fortunate, it doesn't come back to Neymar, but good say I don't like the penalties, the stuttering penalties. I've never have. But Neymar is a master at it, and he scored loads of goals, so I'm not going to criticise him for it, but it's a great save from Kim, a really good save. And maybe he shouldn't have took the penalty. Maybe it should have been Mitrovic. That's what probably Mitrovic is thinking there. That's a good shot of the uh, the body. A penny for the number nine's thoughts there. Good save from Kim, though, because I think Neymar is not fully in the corner, but and you think Kim's ahead of the ball, but it's a strong left hand, and he gets fortunate and reacts ever so well. Yeah, and a great recovery as well to pick himself up and pounce on it at the second attempt, having made the parry. Well, it's a long season, but it hasn't been the best start for Neymar, has it? He was injured when he arrived, which, of course, was his fault. We knew that before he'd even uh, made the move from Paris Saint-Germain. But uh, I bet he thought his eyes were lighting up there at the prospect of a first goal. When you join a new club, you always want to get off to a quick start, especially if you're the marquee signing, which he is. Uh, so he'll be really disappointed. It was a great opportunity, but we have to give huge credit to Kim. Outstanding save. Yeah, really. Really good stop there from the Korea Republic international keeper. But here comes Yannick Carrasco. Carrasco up against uh, Ruben Neves. It's a feisty duel between the pair of them. Uh, Katani trying to get forward and Milinkovic Savic and Abdul Hamid just about manages to uh, keep hold of the ball and get it away. And Milinkovic Savic with a tidy touch into Malcolm who feeds it forward. And now the chance to break with Salam Al Dalsari. Neymar to his right. Mil and uh, Mitrovic heading towards the far post and Cuellar says, no you don't. Cuellar said, I've seen that before, you're not doing that to me. And that's what he's, no nonsense midfield defending, that's what you need. When you've got players like Benega in your team, you need Cuellar to break the ball up and that's what he's done there. Now, with six minutes to go to half-time, Al Dalsari to the far side, it's a miscontrol from uh, Alexander Mitrovic. And Dos Santos, the central defender now, venturing forward. Carrasco. Abush. Back into Banega. They're just looking to manage the play a bit at the moment. Uh, Al Shabab taking the sting out of the game just as Al Hilal are trying to up the pace a little bit. It's an easy one for Koulibaly. Back to time here for Milinkovic Savic. And Sharani on the overlap outside of Al Dalsuri, and here he is. And once again, Saiz is there ahead of uh, Mitrovic. Yeah, I think Saiz is his, their midfield's open at the moment, Al Shabab, and they don't need to. There's five minutes to half time, just be solid. You just could see the penalty. Kim's made a good save. Stay in the game till half time. to be the provider here. Five minutes to the break. He's looking delivery just over the top of the bar. I think it's Malinkovic Savage. As you can see, it's a great ball from Neymar. I think he gets there first and he really would probably be thinking there is pressure from Saiz, but once he gets that header, the thinking can he score. He's unlucky to be fair because he gets good contact on it. Habib Diallo is the, uh, the player going to ground just in front of it. And Milinkovic Savic, who's yet to score for his new club. Full start in a row for, for him, having come back from suspension. It's a lovely touch into Fabaz Al Sakur. Cuellar finds Al Katani. He's got Al Sakur forward on the far side of the field. Diallo waits in the middle. Carrasco to the near side. Just waiting for the pass, which now arrives. He's got the fullback, Mohamed Harbouche. Outside now, what sort of delivery is it going to be? That, that doesn't quite find ever Banega. Al Dalsuri clears, only as far as Al Sakur. Carrasco. Al Katani. Blocked there by Al Shirani. 
this little passage of play this for Al Shabab here late and in the first half. I think so, that's what they've needed just before. They were just getting overrun, and you see Roman Saiz saying to, to get back in and switch on, lads. And this is what you want keep the ball. Diallo, everywhere he goes. Uh, Kula Valley is not far away. Benega, he's just gone scampering into a bit of space on the far side. And it goes towards Diallo. He's just being nudged around a little bit by Kula Valley, physically there. This is Malcolm. Look at him go. What a joy to watch. Super player at full flight. It's Malcolm who feeds it through, and Mitrovic is denied by Iago de Santos. Yeah, it's good. It's good from de Santos. The one mistake that Santos has made was the penalty. Other than that, I think he's defended excellent. It's brilliant from Malcolm. He's probably been their best player in the first half. Really positive. Neymar wants the ball, but good run from Mitrovic, but good defending from Santos. Here comes Neymar to, to take this one. of minutes to half time plus any added time of course of which there will be some Neymar sending it across and Kula Valley back pedaling and conceding a free kick yeah the referee's give a free kick he does like the whistle the referee <laughs> Little head scratch here for George Jesus so far Plenty of goals this season, 21 in the seven matches they played, conceding uh, seven. We're finding stubborn resistance from uh, Al Shabab in this first half. Al Bulai. from Kula Valley, not quite as good as a couple of the others. Well, Kim left it as long as he could with Mitrovic racing on. Yeah, he got it wrong there, um, Kula Bali, but as I said, Kim's starting position is really good. He's a good, really good goalkeeper. Al Katani feeding it forward. Fawaz Al Sokor. They'll have a corner here for that challenge. The ball going off Yasser Al Shirani. All eyes on the touchline shortly for the, the board to see how much added time we'll have at the end of this first half. Seven minutes. That's about right, isn't it, now? With everything that we well, see. Around the, the two penalties. <laughs> yeah, yeah. VAR check. <laughs> Carrasco's making his third league appearance for his new club. On target last week. Is there a sting in this first half tail? It could be a chance. And the header. Oh, just wide. And Al Katani was going to be denied anyway because the flag had gone up. But there's just a, a little moment to keep Al Hilal's defence on their toes. Yeah, I think it's Roman Saiz. They, Al Hilal get up. They do ever so well. The way they squeeze up when the ball goes back. And Roman Saiz is in an offside position. Neves. Looking for the forward run of the fullback, Saud Abdul Hamid. Showed too much of that to Gustavo Cuellar, but real determination from Neves. He looks pretty fired up for this run. Yeah, he does. Top player, Neves. Yeah, they gave him a, a rest last week for the Damak game, came on as a sub. Um, just to see because he played every minute, but scored his first goal for the club in the, in the King's Cup in their last match to secure a victory and their place in the round of 16. Al Katani sending it crossfield and Carrasco a little behind Al Sokur is Eva Benega. Nicely crafted pass as ever in towards Habib Diallo, a bit loose from him. 
Al Katani had to work to keep the ball out of the clutches of Neymar. Yeah, he's a bit sloppy, Diallo. As you said earlier, Kulabali was, you know, all over him and he, he wasn't strong enough to hold the ball up. When you're the one striker, you have to be reliable. Benega pings it forward. Diallo, nicely done. Al Sokor, Diallo takes his place in the middle. Al Katani into Benega. Fine interception by Al Bulai. And Salem Al Dalsari now with a chance to bring it forward. And a lovely little pass with the outside of his boot. But again, Kim very swiftly out of his penalty area. His starting position is outstanding. If your defence are going to play a high line, you as a goalkeeper have to start high. And Kim's starting position this evening so far has been brilliant. support in the stands is constant and colorful but they haven't really had too much to shout about in this first half Kula Valley another four minutes or so remaining as uh, Phil Hamid has to settle for a throw to Malcolm who's strong enough to keep Cuellar at arm's length and he retreats deeper and Shirani in towards Malcolm and Katani knew he had to have a quick bite there to try and retrieve it as Ruben Neves just a tad long yeah you see Neves always hit them diagonal balls usually always on the money there but it just over hits it we haven't seen quite so much of the blue power so far in this first half Certainly got plenty of it on the pitch, but not quite firing on all cylinders in the opening 45 minutes. And uh, Al Shabab have certainly had a decent share of the game. No, they have. They've been good in possession. They haven't really tested Bono that much in the goal, but yeah, they've been neat and tidy up until that final pass or final shot. King Umar, uh, Kim has got himself in a spot of bother there, but now here's. Diallo, Diallo up against Al Bulay. Oh, nobody there in a white shirt. It was easily defended, and now his team could be under pressure. And Al Dalsari was fortunate for Al, Al Shabab that he didn't take the ball with him initially. Yeah, and that, the opportunity from Diallo, he does some good stuff and then he lets himself down there. He's one on one. You can tell it's a centre forward that's not got no confidence at the moment. Now Carrasco straining every sinew to get on the end of that pass. Oh yeah, it's a good, it's a good ball and, and the pace from Carrasco, but really good defending, really solid defending there. Carrasco, you can see he's getting frustrated. He's tied on the left. He's just dropping into little pockets, trying to get on the ball. A couple of minutes remaining in this. First half, seven minutes minimum off at the end of the opening period. So the strength of Mitrovic kept possession there. Lovely little touch from Milinkovic Savic. And here goes Malcolm off on a run, carrying the ball some considerable distance, not for the first time in the game. Al Dalsari, Al Shirani, who's a good option on the far side, venturing forward. Again, it breaks down for Al Hilal, and Diallo wins himself a free kick. It was just, it, it just too slow with the crossing, and it was good defender, and Diallo does well here to buy a free kick because I don't think there's hardly any contact there from Ruben Neves. of the first half and Carrasco gets the throw and well it was a pretty light touch there from uh, Ali Al Bulay but he gets booked anyway for presumably unsportsmanlike conduct in the eyes of the referee yeah perhaps. it's a yellow card but Carrasco and he's now the, the red mist has descended a little bit for Ali Al Bulay who feels 
Hard Malay. done by then, and Carrasco certainly, uh, I certainly didn't get the impression that there was anything major that Carrasco had to deal with there. Just thrown the ball at him, he's, he's better than, the reaction is not, to me, no way, Carrasco should be going down like that, look. Yeah, it's embarrassing, on, isn't it? It's embarrassing. It's a yellow card, I get it, but you don't need to throw yourself to the ground. And he's still on the ground as well. So we'll have a little bit more than seven minutes of added time at the end of this half. Carrasco staying down. Alexander Mitrovic just offering to help him with his recovery. <laughs> He's like, come on, I know you. <laughs> there's nothing wrong. <laughs> And hopefully we will carry on with the game momentarily. Yeah, I wonder if he gives a free kick or is it still a throw on? A little bit of confusion among the players here. And Shabab with the throw. Which uh, Fawaz al Sabur will take. Here's Gustavo Cuella. It's a tidy little ball in. Is there going to be an opportunity here right at the end of the half? No, it just catches the, the instep of Yannick Carrasco. There goes the half-time whistle. Frustrating half for Al Hilal and for Georges Jesus. His team spurned the opportunity to take the lead. Neymar having a penalty, superbly saved by Kim sung Gyu. At half-time, Al Hilal nil, Al Shabab nil. Welcome back to our live coverage from Riyadh as the teams prepare for the start of the second half. And so far, so good from Al Shabab's point of view. George Jesus, no doubt, will feel that his team should be ahead. They certainly had a good opportunity, or at least Neymar did, from the penalty spot. You'd have backed him there. Oh, definitely. You would have backed him all day long, he, he, even with the run up that he's so used to. But one thing I've noticed, he's changed his boots now, so maybe he's got the goal scoring boots on for the second half. Yeah, we saw a little shot of Bono there, the goalkeeper as well. Not the busiest of evenings for him so far. Perhaps uh, that's no surprise. But uh, one Browns team have uh, performed well in the first half. I mean, it's obvious that 0-0 they're still very much in the game. But in terms of the the general play, they've they've had the ball in the final third a few times. No, and they've been and they'll be happy. I mean, listen, they're playing against a superstar team. They're not the favourites, but they've caused a few problems. They've had their goalkeeper, Kim, make some big saves, which he expects to do, and they've defended well. And it, this could go either way. This could go either way. It just depends how Halal start this second half. I remember this match was a 1-1 one -one draw last season. Musa Morega put Al Hilal ahead, only for Carlos Jr. to equalise. That was fairly early in the second half. Carlos Jr. is among the subs today for Al Shabab. Uh, Shabab, a club who haven't been able to, to spend anything like the sort of money as some of the others, uh, but with a very, very uh, admirable record over the years. Six times Saudi Arabian champions, though not since the early 90s. They have finished in the top five in 10 of the last 14 seasons. That gives you some idea of the, the consistency of uh, Al Shabab as uh, one of the bigger, better teams in. Saudi Arabia, but it, the landscape of course has changed so much over the summer. Neymar there just having a little tactical discussion and maybe a, a quick joke at the start of the second half with Sergei Milinkovic Savic. Well, he's, man who's, he's not interested in a joke, maybe, is he? Benega, no, he's, he's not, all oh, business. No, he's serious. Benega is not one person you'll have a joke with, is it? You just shake his hand and say, thanks, goodbye. <laughs> 
So Al Shabab with uh, Habib Diallo will get us underway at the start of the second half. Diallo, the Senegal international, with the ball back into Gustavo Cuellar, back at his former club, only moved last month. He's had a decent game, and now Banega, talking of decent games, sends it through. Here's Habib Diallo, and that's a really, well, I was about to say a really good challenge by Ali Al Bulay, but Diallo keeps hold of possession. It's Banega, and it's wide. But yeah, a bright start for Al Shabab. You're right, very good start for them. It's a great flip around the corner. Diallo, you're thinking, can he get another touch? He's on a booking. It's a really good tackle and slows Diallo down and Benega fires wide. But good start from El Shabab. Here comes uh, Ruben Neves away to the far side. Kalidou Koudibaly. Al Bulay. Saudi Arabia international. Not the only one, of course, in this team. Ali Al Bulay. Very consistent player. And Salem Al Dasri gets the free kick for the challenge by Al Sagour. <laughs> Referee, by the way, uh, Ivan Barton from El Salvador. <laughs> Neymar loses out, has a little flick out. At Al Katani and Eva Benega has it once more, looking for the run of Yannick Carrasco, tracked by uh, Abdul Hamid and Koulibaly. Koulibaly sensing the danger and thinking, oh, I need to take control of this defensively. Benega, Cuellar, more confidence about Al Shabab. Yeah, really good confidence. That's from Neymar trying to do a trick in the wrong place and it just broke. But as you said, Koulibaly done well to hold up Carrasco. Now, Al Sagor, can they? take advantage of this opportunity and put some pressure on well, there's our answer and it's with uh, Malcolm who sweeps it forward what a ball from Malcolm into Neymar who uh, I think we were all just waiting for the flag to go up there yeah and he's trying to argue why he's not putting the flag up that... it's not even close let's move on here's Neves he's a man who can help to turn the game in the direction of his own team as Yasser Al Sharani ventures forward with uh, Al Dalsari. Lovely little exchange. Al Dalsari doesn't reach Malcolm on the edge of the box. Diallo's tussling and winning himself a free kick against the frustrated Milinkovic Savic. Good play from Diallo. That's what you want though. When you're when your team's under pressure, can the centre forward buy free kicks or you know, win throw ones, and it is really good play from Diallo. Really tight at the top end of the table as the ball is cleared away. Banega. Support in the middle. Layoff comes from Hatan Babri. And it goes Al Sakur with an opportunity. He wanted a penalty. He was he seemed more interested in that than getting the shot in. But yeah, uh, I think he was offside again, yeah. but you're right. I think he did want um the penalty. And he was. Let's see if he is offside. Mm, maybe not. On the far side could have played him on, but oh it could be a humble when you watch it again. It seems as if the match will uh, be able to continue. Is the referee going to hold the play up while it's checked? No. So away we go once again. Uh, with the score level in this match, it's so tight at the top of the table. Remember, there are a number of games, of course, being played tomorrow as well. But as it stands in real time, Al Etihad top on 19, Al Tawun second also on 19, Al Nasser and Al Hilal both on 18, and Al Etifak on 16. They're playing tomorrow, and it goes into the middle. Neymar trying to get in there. All hands on deck for Al Shabab. It's good defending, very good defending from the Santos. Good run from Mitrovic into the channel. And he sees he spots Neymar and he tries to fire it across the six yard box, but really good defending. Fawaz Al Sukur sliding it as backup if it was uh, required. But it's the Santos who was there. More pressure. Never sent it in. Stretching was. 
Mitrovic. It's a goal kick. It's an unbelievable ball from Ruben Neves. Watch this, he gets, takes a touch at his feet, whips it into a dangerous area. I'm so surprised Mitrovic is not on the end of it. He's trying his best to get in front, and I do think it probably was a corner. Good defending again from the Santos. Game's opening up a little bit here at the start of the second half. It could only get better. <laughs> Here's uh, Yannick Carrasco up against Neves. Banega, string puller in chief for Al Shabab. Gustavo Cuellar. Maybe he was sent off the last time these two teams met. He was playing for Al Halal in that game back in the spring. Into Mitrovic, he finds Milinkovic Savic, supported by Malcolm. Plenty of blue shirts forward here. Well, that was an uncharacteristically disappointing pass from uh, Milinkovic Savic. Yeah, I think he's, he, he, he wants, he thinks he's going to go on the outside, and it, it's a good, but he overhit the ball. It wasn't a good pass, and with the quality that he's got, you expect better. Well, they got in each other's way there. And the deflection coming off Al Shirani, and it's opened the door a little bit here for Al Sakur. But again, that, the ball into the penalty, that final ball into the edge of the box was was poor from Al Shabab. That's not the first time we've seen that this evening. Can they take advantage of this as uh, Yannick Carrasco has got Diallo in the middle? Babri up there as well, and he smacks the outside of the upright. Yeah, it's good feet from El, um, Carrasco, sorry, on that left-hand side. He does ever so well, squares up Malcolm, gets half a yard. So I think it's a cross-come shot, but, yeah, it hits the um, upright and goes to safety. And that's, uh, by some distance, the closest that um, Shabab have come to scoring. Menkovic Savic making a, a run through the middle. Now dropping in for the short pass. Instead, it goes to uh, Salim Al Dasari. Faced by Al Sakur. Al Dasari tries to tee up Al Shirani. Safely seen behind again. Al Shabab have won only one of the last ten meetings between these two clubs. Al Hilal winning five, four of them drawn. We're level so far this evening. If you've just joined their coverage a little bit late, uh, Neymar had a penalty in the first half, and it was saved by uh, Kim Sung-gu, the uh, Korea Republic international keeper from uh, Al Shabab. Nevers. Al Shirani. If Al Hilal win the match tonight, they'll be top of the league this evening. As it stands, it's very tight at the top but they would be a point behind Al Itihad and Al Tawun. They a layoff from Mitrovic and Koulibaly's popped up as a makeshift centre forward as Neymar tries to wriggle free and again it's Cuellar who wins the ball off him on the edge of his own penalty area and Carrasco brings it away. And here comes Eva Banega and the home crowd are sitting a little more uncomfortably in their seats for a moment or two as Neves retrieves possession. Yeah, it's a good chance from El Shabab. You know what, though? Every time it comes to Neymar, let's see what he can do now. He is breaking down with him in that final third. He has to do better when he's in possession. Now, Dalsuri finding Neymar at the first touch with Malcolm. Lovely little exchange between them. Looking for El Shirani. Diving in was El Sokor. Well, he was living a little dangerously there. Had yeah, to I get that right. He had to get that right. He did say, I don't think he needs to dive in like that. I think he's his favourite there, look. But then why is he diving in? He's stretching at the end, and I think he gets a bit of the ball. Could easily have gone wrong for he him. Could have though. gone wrong, because he gets the ball, and then it's the follow-through that they're not happy with, but he does get a touch on the ball. Yeah, he's a player who made his international debut for Saudi Arabia back in March, in a match against Bolivia. 
And we've got a first change of the second half. And it's Fahad Al Muwalad who is going to come on. Who's appeared now in the last six matches. Experienced Saudi international. Came on for the last half an hour last week. And he'll get a little bit longer this time. Hatam Babri is the player to make way. Beaten by Al Bulay Neves. A touch from Neymar who stays down. Salim Al Dalsari tussles, still has it, and in the end it's an easy save. Oh, it's, it's good football. Al Dalsari has to do better in that final third, but the touch from Neymar is brilliant. He does get caught late, and then Mitrovic plays him in, but yeah, it, it's, it's good football. And here they come again with uh, Kalidou Koulibaly! past the foot of the post. You know what Kulibali's done over the last five minutes? He's thinking, if you can't score, I'm going to go forward. He's, and it's the second time he's got forward in the space of five minutes. It was a decent effort as well. Here was that uh, challenge on the edge of the box by Salim al Dalsari With uh, Fawaz al Sakur looking, hoping the referee was going to give a free kick. Shabab with the throw. <laughs> Koya. Little touch for Luwalad and Spanega. He's always keen to spread the play, move it away from the traffic. He just plays at his pace. It's brilliant to watch. He doesn't have a sprint in him, but he just he doesn't need it. Doesn't, doesn't it? need to because he's got the vision. Yeah, always a really good player to watch, uh, Eva Benega. Ruben Neves away to the far side. Malcolm, who's had a good game tonight. Support from the fullback coming forward. Saud Abdul Hamid. A comfortable catch for Kim Sung Yu. Here's Kweya. Carrasco clipped. Free kick conceded by Abdul Hamid. That was the challenger a minute or so ago that, that left Neymar on the deck for a few moments. All bouncing off uh, Habib Diallo. Swept clear by Al Shirani, not very convincingly. Banega. Looking to engineer an opportunity. Carrasco into space, trying to tee it up. Ruben Neves was there. Managing to get there ahead of Fahad Al Mawalad. Across it goes again. And Ali Al Bulai with the initial block. Yasser Al Sharani clears. Yeah, Al Shabab are coming back, coming to this game massively in the second half. And Benega is having a big influence on the game. Yeah, they're really making a game of it now into the penalty area. Al Sokor and Carrasco couldn't quite tee it up quickly enough. Then he goes for goal, and the moment had passed. It's a brilliant play down that right hand side. And Carrasco does it ever so well. Watch when it comes into him. He moves it, manipulates it onto his right foot. And he's just leaning back, and that's why it goes over. But he looks the most likely for them if someone's going to score this evening. Almost an hour played, and it remains goalless between Al Hilal and Al Shabab. On a night when Al Hilal looked to go top of the table. A victory will take them there, ahead of Al Itihad, who still lead, but only just Al Tawoum joining them on 19 points at the top. Al Tawoum with an away win today. Neymar. Al Bulay. Hurried under pressure from Diallo. Yeah, Abdul Belay, he got to pass it quickly. Give it to the players that can pass it and look forward in front of you. Like centre halves, I hate when they overplay, and he just overplayed there. 
remember uh, Al Hilal dropped a couple of points in the last league match, held 1-1 by Damat away from home, having scored 10 in the preceding two matches. Uh, their next game, by the way, is a week tomorrow, away to Al Abdud, and then there's the, the international break. So being held uh, for the second week running at the moment with half an hour to go, and, and Al Shabab very much with a role to play in this game. And here's a chance for Haram Walad, saved by Bono. And again, they were waiting for the flag to go up. But you just wonder whether on one of these occasions they'll get it right. Certainly didn't that time. But they do play a high line, so they have to time their run. El Shabai, if you time your run, you might be able to get in. Michel is waiting to come on, the Brazilian. Here come the hosts, here's Neymar with the layoff and the opportunity for Ruben Neves! But the flag goes up and the players knew that as the play was continuing. We all knew it, me and you knew it where we sitting there, it was a great opportunity, a really good play from Malcolm down here. He lays it back, he, he tries to find Mitrovic, it's good from Neymar but he just under hits it here. And he's offside, he's gone too early, um, Mitrovic. So with half an hour to go, uh, Mishail is going to come on for Salem al Dalsri. Brazilian player they signed from Flamengo in January of last year, came off the bench for the last 25 minutes last week. Another player, and the Brazilian player with flair in his feet. Uh, Michel was, was really good actually in the first half, in particular the last home match against Al Riyadh. Here's Hussein Al Katani. Shabab but visibly appear to be growing in confidence the longer the game wears on. All right. With the Neves challenge, Milinkovic Savic dives in on Banega, who stays on the ground. Referee says, uh, play on. I think he was playing an advantage there. Banega said, all right, then he's picked himself back up, looking to drive his team forward. Lovely little interchange with Al Katani, which has taken him to the edge of the box. Diallo challenged by Milinkovic Savic. Al Muwalad into Al Khatani. Al Shabab making a decent game of this against their highly fancied star studied hosts, Yannick Carrasco. Quayar. Al Khatani again combining with Banega. It's just a little too high uh, for Diallo, didn't reach uh, Sukur. And away comes Malcolm. Support from Neymar. And Neymar with the pass. And it's inch perfect. And again, Kim is equal to the shot. It was Mishael. Yeah, it's good play from Neymar. Really good play. Gets his head up. And Mishael has a great opportunity. He takes a touch. Can he not come back inside and give it to Mitrovic? But I suppose when he's in front of goal there, you're looking for the net to bulge and good opportunity. George Jesus, the, uh, the vastly experienced coach of Al Hilal, is quite animated or was a moment or two ago on the touchline. There's the, the offside goal. He's well off, as you can see. Free kick Al Hilal for the challenge by Gustavo Cuellar. Heading towards the last 25 minutes of this one. Well, his team have competed well this evening. Fitting around on the far side of the field. Mitrovic held up by Dos Santos. Neves, now it's into Mishael. 
He's got support from Abdul Hamid. In it goes to Milinkovic Savic. Koyar gets it away. Fahad Al Mawala's challenge. No foul, says the referee. It's with Malcolm, who looks to tee it up. Defence living a little dangerously there, just on the edge of their own box, but they managed to get the ball away without conceding a free kick. Yeah, it opens up for Malcolm and he doesn't get his shot away. He tries to take an extra tab touch and El Shabab, they've been defending like that in numbers all evening. Well, it bounces off Benega and Neymar slides it through. He picks it up once again and Neymar finally denied. Out it comes once more, blasted by Ruben Neves. We know he can really hit them from outside the box and Yannick Carrasco has it for Al Shabab. It's end to end. It's a, it's a better football match in the second half. Both teams going for it. Here's Benega. Al Shabab, who made a poor start to the season, looking for what would be their third win in a row in the league tonight, and it certainly would be one that would uh, cause a bit of an upset. Given the starts to the season, the, the two teams have made. Al Hilal are the only unbeaten team in the league. Yeah, so it definitely would be an upset if they could get a result here. A substitution coming shortly. That's Carlos Junior, who scored in this fixture last season, waiting to come on. Hoping that lightning strikes twice, no doubt. Michael. That was beautifully timed by Mohamed Hubush. And Kwea looks to ride the challenge of Milinkovic. Savic hasn't made it. Mitrovic takes a deflection behind. Quiet, quiet takes a big chance there, and Milinkovic Savage does ever so well. Mitrovic doesn't hit it with conviction because I'm thinking as soon as he gets there, brilliant play from Milinkovic Savage. Once it falls to Mitrovic, ah, it's good, to, it's a good, good block from Savage. He was trying to place it, wasn't he? Yeah, he was trying to place it, but I thought he might go the other corner, whip it, but good play from Saez. through the second half and it comes from Neymar and headed into the back of the net by Khalidou Koulibaly with his first goal for Al Hilal the Senegalese defender with an unstoppable powerful header yeah it's brilliant to be fair he times his run the, the corner from Neymar is outstanding he puts it into an area and there's only one winner there Koulibaly was determined, he went to get on his head on it. Great ball in from Neymar, brilliant header from Koulibaly. El Shabab will be disappointed though. Can't give someone of Koulibaly standing a free run and free header, but brilliant header into the bottom corner. Finally, the deadlock is broken. And as it stands, that is a goal which would take Al Hilal to the top of the table. It's a lovely delivery from Neymar, and it's unstoppable from Koulibaly. Yeah, there was only one winner. He showed his power, he showed his strength to get in front of um, the defender, and he was only going to be one winner there to win that header. It's the ball in is outstanding from Neymar. It's a brilliant corner, but the header from Koulibaly, only one winner. Well, great, great moment for him, his first goal since making the move from Chelsea in the Premier League during the summer. But we've seen him get involved in the attacking play in, in open play in the second half and having a go. Uh, but we know how dangerous he is from set plays. I said, so he's saying to the strikers, if you can't do it, I can do it. And that's what he's done. That's what defenders do. <laughs> well, as it stands, Al Hilal, top of the pile. But... Long way to go yet, and Al Shabab look to hit back straight away. And there's the man of the moment. Yeah, it was good defending. Carrasco looked a the favourite there, he just slowed down because he saw Kulabali coming across. Benega. Al Shabab just going to regroup, steady things down, play their way back into the game. Haven't had too much by way of goal scoring opportunity. Given away by Milinkovic Savic. Here's Kwea. Just maybe got it caught underneath his feet for a moment there. Yeah, he did. He's done that a few times, but Milinkovic Savic has been 
really pressed on to Cuellar. But Cuellar, they've had a good, he's had a good game. They'll be disappointed to continue. That's the one thing you don't like, is to concede from a set piece. Great noise inside the stadium. Great corner. Powerful header. Only one winner of that uh, ball there into the penalty area. And Michel had to take the pass from Saud Abdul Hamid. A few fans in the, uh, the seats on the halfway line will be. Hoping the smoke clears fairly soon. They thought they got a great view from those seats. They did. They thought they were the best seats in the house, didn't they? <laughs> Here's Neymar, the, the architect of the, uh, the opening goal. And the scorer, Kula Valley. And Bono. Neymar, a bit deeper in the uh, two possession. Put him behind him. Couldn't get there this time. Yannick Carrasco sends it forward. Farhad Almuwal had the substitute. Good defending by Albulai. Gets a free kick. Abelai, good defending, really good defending. If we're coming then, you could take me one on one, and then he's strong enough um, to win the free kick. Really positive defending there. He put himself on the score sheet for Saudi Arabia recently, Ali Abelai, when they played in England in, uh, earlier this month. 3 1 defeat to Costa Rica, but he scored Saudi Arabia's goal. Santos sending it forward, reflected by Banega. Carrasco. Have they got the, the craft, have they got the guile to create a really good goal-scoring opportunity here against unbeaten Al-Hilal. Opportunity to send it over. Go back into Carrasco, who tries to set up Banega. Neat, neat play, really neat play. And Benega, you've seen him many times bend that into the far corner throughout his career, but really good play down the left hand side. Nice set from Carrasco. Unfortunate not to hit the target there. It's better from Al Shabab as they look to respond, having fallen a goal behind midway through this second half. touch now collected by Neymar support on the far side from Abdul Hamid who sent it in and there was an opportunity there for Malcolm it's blocked by Kim initially falling to Malcolm but the flag has gone up on the far side of the field yeah I think from the earlier cross Mitrovic maybe found the Santos in the build-up but it's good play down the right hand side I think you see here Mitrovic just leans on the defender there and Malcolm makes a mess of it anyway We've seen a lot of good things from Malcolm, but that wasn't one of his better moments. Not that it, it would have counted in the end. But he's carved out a decent career for himself, hasn't he, Malcolm? The, uh, the Brazilian had four years at Zenit St. Petersburg. He's been with Barcelona and Bordeaux. Signed in the summer for Al Hilal, one of the, the new arrivals. It was he who scored last week, actually, Malcolm, for that 1-1 draw against Damak. Four goals for him so far this season. Junior forward to Farhad. Yeah. 
Fawaz Al Sakor will take the throw for Al Shabab as we head for the final 15 minutes. Ruben Neves back healthy. Banega. A little bit loose from him. Here come Al Hilal on the counter. Mishael, the substitute, faced by Dos Santos, sliding it through. Here's Neymar, and Neymar puts it across. And it's blocked on the line, is it? And finally in by Alexander Mitrovic. 2-0, Al Hilal. It's brilliant from Neymar. He could easily score there, Neymar, but that's when you see Neymar's quality there. He says to Mitrovic, go and have a tap in. And you think Mitrovic has made a meal out of it, but he gets up and does ever so well. But outstanding football from um, Neymar. In this second half, he really has come alive. Well, for a moment there, it looked as though Neymar was going to get off the mark himself. Scintillating manoeuvre into the penalty area. But setting up his teammate, who needed two bites at it. Yeah, he did. As I said, I thought he made a meal of the first one. It was a good opportunity. I don't think he expects it. You can see here, they lose the ball. Benega tries to play it, and Carrasco's on his heels. And they just break. The pace that they break at is outstanding. And you can see here, really good play on the left hand. This is brilliant, this touch. And then he goes again, and he sees him. See, Mitrovic, I don't think he expects it. And then he, he does well and puts it in with his left foot. Yeah, it was terrific play by Neymar. I have to say, in real time, as it unfolded, I, I, I wasn't expecting him to pass the ball either. Me neither, but he's, that's not what makes him different from other players. He's brilliant, it's his exceptional brain that hits quickly, and he does ever so well to play Mitrovic. Well, it suddenly looks a long way back for Al-Shabaab in this game. Mitrovic with his sixth goal for his new club. So an excellent start to life in uh, the Saudi Pro League. Continues for him, Mitrovic. Six in six in the league for him. Not bad. That'll be a free kick there for the challenge on Malcolm. But here it is again, the second goal. The save initially by Kim sung -Gyu. Kula Valley, score of the opening goal this evening. One thing Neymar, what he's done this half, he's dropped deeper and deeper to get on the ball. And that's where he's been more effective, making late runs forward. Yeah, he's come more and more into the game, hasn't yeah. he? He's also endeared himself to his teammates, I think. Certainly one of them with that pass. But here come Al Hilal again, Michel up to the edge of the penalty area. Good defending in the end by Mohamed Burbush. Block made by Neves. Hunting will get the throw in there as well, deflection off the, uh, the full back. to make the breakthrough but things looking good for Al Hilal here to extend their unbeaten start to the season to uh, eight matches at the start of the campaign and to take sole possession of the leadership of the Saudi Pro League tonight key role in the second goal Neymar still be he will still be disappointed at having Missed that penalty in the first half, but that blow, no doubt, softened by the two goals they've scored in the second half. Yeah, correct. I, I, you'll be disappointed because you want you want to get that first goal for your new club, but I think he's had a big influence in this second half. He's been outstanding. Yeah. 
it's hard to see Al Shabab conjuring up a point from this game now. If anything, it could get worse. Mishael right across the face of the goal. And suddenly Al Hilal looked threatening every time they venture forward. Yeah, shai has got to do better than this. He, he's saying he's looking um, for the near post run of Malcolm, but in fact, he's, he's hit that way too hard. He's just got to pick out Neymar. He's in the six-yard box waiting for a tap-in. Well, if it doesn't happen for Al Shabab tonight, and the moment doesn't look as if it will, uh, their next match is next Thursday. They're away to Al Riyadh, who are one off the bottom after seven matches. So Al Shabab will sense an opportunity to get back to winning ways quickly against newly promoted Al Riyadh. Neymar, as you say, Clinton, dropping deeper to collect possession. See much more of the ball and affecting the game far more the longer it wears on. Al Sharani is continuing his run. Milinkovic Savic. Bringing Malcolm into the game. Lovely little pass. Al Sharani finds the path to goal blocked by Dos Santos. Colourful scene of contented and happy home supporters. Yeah, they'll be happy. In particular, the way they team played in the second half. There might be more in it for the home team, you never know, as never sends it over. He's capable of pinging in some terrific deliveries into the penalty area, Ruben Neves. Yeah, he does. He's set pieces and his free kicks are one of the best around. He's conceded a free kick there, though, with the challenge on Fahad al Mawala. Eight minutes plus added time. Change coming for the home team shortly. Salman Al Faraj getting ready to come on. He'll be uh, off the bench again. Has been has has been the case in uh, several matches recently. He tends to come on for the last few minutes. It's a, a regular occurrence. He's not the only one who's about to enter the fray. Katani losing possession in midfield. It's all rather coming undone for Al Shabab the longer the game wears on. Abdul Hamid going for goal. They all want a piece of the action. Hamid, he should listen. If he scores from there, you can't moan. But if I'm the centre forward, I want you to just roll it across so I've got to tap him. But as I said, they're all hungry for goals at the moment. Good save in the end from Kim. I do yeah. think he gets a touch on that. To be fair, it wasn't a bad effort at all, was it? And uh, Yasser Al Shirani coming off. Al Faraj is on. And also going off is uh, Alexander Mitrovic. He's not entirely happy at that prospect. No, he's not happy. <laughs> he's not happy. Even though he's scored one of the two goals, set up by Neymar. Hassan Al Tambakti is going to come on to replace him. And Al Tambakti, who's just come on, is a new signing from Al Shabab in August. Uh, he was injured on the first match day of the season while he was still at Al Shabab, and this is the first time he's played since then. Uh, he did play in the uh, uh, Asian Champions League match recently, but uh, yeah, and there's the uh, well for a moment or two the slightly disgruntled figure of Alexander. Hey, I just think that's any striker when you feel when you've scored and you feel like you've had a good game, you want to stay on the pitch. It shows his cares and he's frustrated, but you know the manager's doing it. There's only six minutes to go and they've got loads of um, big important games coming up. by Al Bulay, the touch from Malcolm into Neymar, it's just clipped. And then when Saiz is a little frustrated, it's another 
good defensive performance from uh, Roman Saiz from his, for his new club this evening. Gustavo Cuellar there, just clipping the outside of Neymar. Yeah, right it was Cuellar. I feel Saiz thought the referee gave it against him, but Cuellar just caught him. Neymar is in the mood at the moment. He is, isn't he? He's got better and better the, the longer the game's been on. Mishael there just uh, wisely avoiding that challenge from Saiz. That the, was taking the knowing everything. look on your face. That yeah, I've, I've had to jump out I've of the way of a few of those. That was good. He's coming to take man and ball there. Says <laughs> he's taking the lot, whatever's yes, there. He is. Milinkovic Savic, who got on the end of a delivery in the first half and headed just over the top of the uh, the crossbar. Neves. It was in behind Neymar and not quite in the right position for Salman Al Faraj either. Yeah, it's, it's down that right hand side in the second half, they've caused a lot of problems. And this time it was a good cutback, but disappointing finish. He just gets ahead of the ball. Still threatening a third. We're inside the last five minutes of the, the 90, but who knows how much added time. How much bonus time we may get at the end of the game? Five, six minutes, we're saying? No, no, seven knows. minutes in the first seven. half. I think, yeah, we had a couple of penalties, didn't we, VAR checks. It might not be as much this half. Prowling up and down the touchline, uh, Jesus, the coach. He'll be happy. He would have been disappointed in the first half. I know Neymar missed the penalty, but they, they weren't at their fluent best. I think second half, they've got the ball down and played much better. He's going to reach for a card. The challenge on Walad on Neymar. I need to watch the replay. I need to see if it was as bad as what Neymar's making up. He has got a bit of, you know, a lot of contact in this second half. So yellow card for the substitute. Conversation continues between the pair of them. Another substitution. And this time it is uh, Hussein al Qatani who is going to be replaced by Majid Kanaba, who's appeared in all but two of the matches so far. The, 31 year old defensive midfield player signed for them right at the beginning of the year from Al Fateh. There's a couple of minutes plus added time. The points look as though they're in the bag for Al Hilal, but they, they had to work quite hard for a substantial portion of the game before making the breakthrough forward it goes towards Milinkovic Savic who is furthest forward there beautifully done into Neymar denied by Kim yeah it don't look like it's going to be his night in front of goal even though he's had a good game Neymar Milinkovic Savic in the second half really grown into this game brilliant ball from Neves good run from Milinkovic Savic great reverse ball and you have to say El Shabbat Kim's been outstanding for them in goal. Made some big saves and another big save from Neymar. Yeah, I agree. He's played really well tonight. He'll have sleepless nights, you know, say um, Neymar, when you when you say Kim, because he's done ever so well. Malcolm sends it forward. Here's Neymar again. He might have the final say. You never know. With just over a, a minute remaining of the 90, Mishael sending it forward. Abdul Hamid, and this time it's Cuellar who gets in ahead of Neymar. Don't think it's going to be his night, do you say? <laughs> Michelle, a handful he is. Lovely little ball in, doesn't reach Neymar this time. Still, they haven't cleared it. Milinkovic Savic tries to place it. It's blocked, and uh, that was expertly avoided, that tackle there by Yannick Carrasco. 
was. He did ever so well. The way he maneuvered the ball and managed to jump out of the way, he could have picked up an injury now. It was Roman Saiz in the way again in the penalty yeah, area. Yeah, another good block from him. He's defended brilliant. It'd be a good signing for El Shabab. Lovely touch from uh, Milinkovic Savic. Good save there from Kim Sungu once again. Fawaz El Sokor, Gustavo Cuellar. Well, Al Shabab, the winners, the last time the two teams met back in April, they were at home on that day. But they just haven't uh, managed to take advantage of their attacking positions on the field, but they have, at the other end, had an excellent performance from their goalkeeper, Kim. Yeah, the goal, Kim's been outstanding. Big penalty save, and all the big saves have probably been from Neymar, but he stood up really well, and that's what you need. When you go to places like al you need your goalie to have a big performance. I know they're going to lose the game, but he can come out of this game with huge credit. Oh, lovely bit of skill there from uh, Kalidou Koulibaly. Saiz. In added time at the end of the game. Vanega with some space. Lovely ball forward, El Secour. Has he won a corner? Well, he feels that he has, or he should have done. Yeah, it's a good ball from Vanega. Good run from El So, and he, it should be a corner. He's done, he's kept on going down that right hand side, and it is a corner. Whichever Vanega will take. Swept in by the captain and comfortably saved by Bono. He's, he's been a spectator for long periods, hasn't he, the uh, Moroccan international keeper? We're playing six additional minutes in this second half. And we're almost a third of the way through it. further than he meant to there yeah and he's tired legs tired mind so sometimes he's had too many touches on the ball in the, in the game but he has defended well what it goes from uh, ever Benega Mohamed out the right waits to come on he's on the touchline Free kick for the challenge on Neymar. <laughs> and the applause from the home fans for Malcolm and it's been a fine performance from him this evening. Yeah, he's good. He was their best player, I thought, in that first half. He'll be disappointed he's not got on the score sheet, but really lively down that right and in the left in the second half. So Malcolm's off, full back, Mohamed al is on. He's appeared in every match this season. He's only started two of them, but he's he's a regular on the pitch in all eight of the games up to this point. Collected here by Kanaba, sending it forward to Fahad al Muwalat and uh, al is there first, another really strong performance from Ali al this evening. Yeah, really strong, yeah. defended ever so well. Yeah, not just about the big-name players like Koulibaly in this team. Some very good domestic players as well. Into the box it goes, and then it's hooked right across the penalty area by Carlos Junior, who waits in the middle. Carrasco, nowhere to go. Banega. El Sokor, a couple of minutes of added time remaining at the end of this game now. Cuellar, is there a, a consolation goal in it for Al Shabab? Maybe not. Uh, they have tried, they have tried, they probed. But I just think they're missing a centre forward who can get them goals. We spoke about Diallo hasn't scored yet, low on confidence. Good outside the box, maybe they need to play someone with him. I think they, they felt that Diallo would be that. I mean, they've got to be kept, they've got to be 
not crafty. They've got to be cute and make sure that they make a good signing, haven't yes. they? Because they haven't got the money. And Diallo had scored a lot of goals yeah, and listen, in France. You know what, Sai? It might take off. Once he gets one, as I said, he might get two, three, four and go on a run. But he just looks short of confidence at the moment. Yeah, 20 goals last season in 37 appearances oh, for Strasbourg. Good. Well, that's very good. So, uh, you know, for a club like that, I think certainly the sort of player that they can go for and hope comes off because they haven't got the big money. Big money, yes. So they the have others. to make sure when they make that signing, it's the right signing. So he just needs a goal from somewhere and quickly to get his confidence up. And good for the team, Al Shabal as well. It'd be good for them if they can get him firing. In the last minute of uh, added time at the end of this one. This is Carrasco. Picking out to uh, Eva Banega, trying to slide it through. That's an excellent in interception there by Al Balai once again. And there'll be a free kick for Al Hilal for the challenge on uh, Sergei Milinkovic Savic by Gustavo Cuella. He's been competitive in there in the midfield this evening, and he has some good football players and some good aggressive tackling as well. We expect Al Shabab to always be consistent, and they were stubborn opponents for Al Hilal tonight. But in the end, they just couldn't keep them out. Second half goals, a first for his new club for Kalidou Koulibaly. He broke the deadlock in the 68th minute, and then in the 76th minute, Neymar setting up Alexander Mitrovic, who now has scored six in six. Three points for Al Hilal. They go to the top of the table tonight. Al Hilal two, Al Shabab nil.